Hello there, my name's Richard Ord. I'm from Amantis, a company based in Cambridge in the UK. And we're here at PCIM in Nuremberg, PCIM 2013. And uh, we're on the Amantis stand here. Now, we're a company that has an interesting background. We have a background in power electronics, which is some fundamental university research that came out of Cambridge. But we merged that with some guys who have real digital electronics experience. So the founders come from the university and from ARM. And ARM Limited knows a little bit about digital processing. And in the power electronics world, this is quite new. When you talk to ARM, they talk about the internet of things. They talk about machine to machine communication. Well. We've got a little bit of grease and oil on our hands. We have the machines, we have the internet of things, we have the things that are talking to each other. And what I'd like to talk to you about a little bit today is the pleasure that you get sometimes when, as a marketing guy, you tell the customer what you think he's going to gain from what it is you think you're going to sell him, and then actually the customer comes along and says, well, actually, we've done what you said, and we've got some of the benefits that you promised us. So what we've got here is a setup of one of our customers, a company called EMEF in Portugal. They are the primary operations and maintenance company for the Portuguese railways, and they have developed a system that uses some of our technology and implements that in their product to improve the operating and maintenance environment of their equipment. So down here, we've got one of their modules, and then in the locomotive system, there are 10 of these in each locomotive, and it combines two IGBT uh, module devices at 4,500 volts, with, in addition, two of the gate drives that Amantis has developed. But other people make gate drives. What we've done that's different is we've implemented a monitoring and communications protocol inside the actual gate drive. Our friends from ARM are quite pleased. We've actually used an ARM microprocessor in our system. And what that does is it communicates from the high voltage side over the fiber optic link a series of monitoring voltage performance uh, parametrics, uh, temperature of the gate drive, and a whole series of information about that system and how it's operating. What the guys at EMEF have done, they've combined that with their system that's monitoring the whole train electrics. Are the doors on the train closing correctly? If not, you've probably got a maintenance requirement. Is the air conditioning system working correctly? If not, you've probably got some unhappy customers, especially in Portugal. Not so important in the UK, we don't get those sort of problems. So they have a system that combines all of this technology and now includes the traction inverter from the actual um, uh, train system. So about two weeks ago, they invited one of my colleagues to Portugal. Um, he didn't realize they invited him for dinner at 12, 10 o'clock at night. He was starving. At 2 o'clock in the morning, they then said, right, we're going for a train ride. How good is this technology, Admantis? We're going to test out what you've promised us. We're going on the first train test of your equipment on our train. And since then, this trial has been running in Portugal, um, and they've been switching the IGB technology, IGBT technology, using Amantis products, and delivering the information back to their host control system. Well, that all sounds very good, but what we've actually got here on the stand is we've got a link up from here in Nuremberg over the Lusa Gate system through Amantis Power Insight to an actual train. If we can just move to the map here, we'll see the train is actually here in the city of Lisbon on the track and it's actually running with this development system, this trial system in operation in real time today several hundred miles away. Now that sounds all quite interesting, but earlier today the guys were looking at the performance parameters of the IGBT and what was happening. So you look at this here, and we have a plot along the baseline versus 9 a.m. to 11.50 this morning, you can see the speed of the train. And here it's getting up to normal sort of speed, braking, stopping, back up to normal speed. Here there was a problem the train wasn't getting up to full speed and they noticed this on the test train and said that there's a problem happening here. We then looked at the trace of the temperature and you see here the IGBT temperature rises as the train picks up speed, rises as the train picks up speed, does nothing. There's the problem. 
So during the lunchtime, they talked to the guy who's on the test train and had a look to see what was actually happening. And what they found was that the IGBT system had a problem and our gate drive said there's a problem with this circuit and in order to protect the circuit, switched it out. So only one locomotive was running. They were able to look at the system from here, check out what was actually going, and they found that there was actually a problem in the fibre optics in the train, uh, train switching system. They were able to identify the problem. The team in Portugal went to check this out. They fixed that problem, and now it's working. And here, if we move to the time, train, the time track from this afternoon, you can see checking out what the problem was during lunchtime. The train is static. And then here we go again, off the train goes, and now the temperature is rising as normal, the train is operating as normal. If this still had the old GTO system in there, this would have blown the system. With a Mantis Power Insight monitoring built into EMEF's Lusogate system, you've got real-time monitoring, real-time observation, and real-time prognostics of what's happening in the system. We think for once our customer is doing what we asked them to do and maybe they believe that what we were offering them was what they wanted us to do. I hope that's interesting for you. Thank you very much.